earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience payout methods and the schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history. As we welcome into the court Team Barbados, led by goal shooter Kiana Hart, goal attack Taisha Trotman, wing attack Shakina Pigo, center Dia Ford Haynes, wing defense Sierra Small, goal defense Keisha, Ke Kanisha Cox, goalkeeper Chelsea Best. Also on the bench for Team Barbados tonight, we have Jacinta Ford, Tyra Griffin, Kimani Harding, Jakira Jones-Smith, Samira Rock. <laughs> Captain for Team Barbados is Dia Ford Haynes, coached by Cameron Greenwich, primary care provider Chantel Fitt, managed by J Julian Seeley, assistant coaches, Denise Calender and Jacqueline Brown McCorney. Round of applause for Team Barbados. <laughs> Taking on Team Barbados tonight is Team Grenada, led by Keisha Mafre, goal shooter. Roshana Francis, goal attack. Khadija Nore, wing attack. Shade Happer, center. Roshana Cote in wing defense. Antonia George, goal defense. Canel Francis, goalkeeper. Also on the bench for Team Grenada is Haley Andrews, Dejon Bristol, Emma McIntosh, Adela Phillip, and Kelly Slinger McSween. Team Grenada is captained by Canel Francis, coached by Arlene Williams, primary care providers, Joanna Calix and Keith Williams, managed by Connie Belfort, assistant coaches, Kisha Marie and Jamie John. Round of applause for Team Grenada. Oops, sorry. Which one? 
our officials for tonight, standing umpires Moeb Gaines, Wayne Benty, and Chanel Balcon Denny. Let's have a round of applause for umpires who've been doing a stellar job at this tournament so far. May the best team win. Good luck, girls. Okay, we are about to witness the final match for the tournament, the under-16 tournament. Barbados versus Grenada, and they're off. Okay, we have an outer court of Grenada Center. Throw in to Barbados. We can see a slight change in the lineup for both teams. We can see that Barbados goal defense now becomes a goalkeeper. Okay, and Barbados receives the ball comfortably and the goal attack scores. The score is now one to Barbados, zero to G Grenada. It's now Grenada's center pass. She struggles to get a win defense, but she executes the pass. Okay, we have a contact on the win attack in net ball. You're not allowed to use any part of your body out of the cylinder or else you'll be obstructing or contacting the player once you hit them. Goal defense of Barbados makes an easy pass to the win attack. Win attack to the center, and the center tries to get to the goal shooter, but the pass was just a little too short. Goal attack takes the throw in. Okay, so there's an obstruction on the goal defense, and there's a penalty pass, but she attempts the shot, and she scores. It's 2-0 to Barbados. Barbados center pass. Centre tries to get a goal shooter, but she passes the ball to a win attack. There's a contact on the win defence for Grenada. So there's a bad pass from the goal attack to the goal shooter. So Grenada is bringing the ball down to the shooting third. Is now Grenada throwing, and the win attack for Grenada will get this ball. There's a great interception by the win defense for Barbados. You can see that both teams are very eager and hungry to win. The ball goes to the goal attack, who tries to find the goal shooter. Oh, what an excellent jump and an excellent reach. And she misses the first attempt, but she gets a good rebound, and she's about to score, and she scores. Good job on both teams, keeping up the competition. It's Grenada center to goal attack. Goal attack finds the goal defense. Back to the goal attack, who tries to get her goal shooter. An easy pass to the goal shooter. Having a goal, a tall goal shooter really puts a team at a great advantage. And Grenada scores. The score is now two all. Barbados center pass. Okay, the ball rolls off the win defense of Barbados, but Barbados goalkeeper is first to the ball. She clears the ball to her win attack player, who fumbles the ball, but is quickly retrieved by her goal attack. With a contact by the goal defense. So we have a two-on-one situation in the shooting circle. Two shooters versus one defender. And there's a contact goalkeeper on the goal shooter's back. Very good positioning. Okay, and it's out of court. You could just hear some comments by the fans, how exciting and passionate they are. So the goal win attack for Grenada gives it to goal defense, goal defense to goal attack, goal attack tries to find a win defense, but there's a contact on the win attack for Barbados. Okay, we see the win defense makes a comfortable pass to win attack, contact on the win defense, goal attack tries to get her shooter, and she makes an easy pass to her goal shooter, and she scores.
We are really enjoying the energy from both teams. You can see that both teams are hustling on defense, hustling on attack, and we could actually see the aggression from the goal shooter for Barbados, where she swings the ball across to the center and gets it back. You could see the frustration by an easy fumble. This is just to show that they are very passionate about the sports. There's a throw in to Grenada. Grenada gives it to... There's a fumble. Barbados tries to recover. And there's a great save by the win defense. A good interception by the win attack for Grenada. Throw in. Throw in to Barbados. Obstruction on the win attack for Grenada. They find the center. Center finds the goal. This was a pass to the win attack. The goal attack who hesitated and it went outside. Throw in to Grenada. Okay, there's an infringement call. There is an easy pass to the goal shooter. Goal shooter scores. Once again, we're back at a tie three all. So we just want to get the chat engaged. Who do you think will win this game? But before we reach to the end of the match, what do you think will be the end of quarter score? So far, we have four to Barbados and three to Grenada. Can anybody predict the end of quarter score? Can we get some persons sharing the answers in the chat? With only three and a half minutes to go. So there's a contact on the goalkeeper, so the goal shooter gets a penalty shot. And she scores. Once again, we're back at a tie for all. Barbados center pass, so just a little tip. Whenever the score is even, we always get Barbados center pass. Whenever the score is even, it is always Barbados center pass. So Grenada is now in possession when defense takes the ball due to a stepping caused by Team Barbados. Center for Grenada has the ball. She tries to find a shooter but gives it back to the goal defense. The goal defense to win attack. Win attack to center. She fumbles the ball but she gets a win attack. Win attack tries to get the goal shooter who takes it over the goalkeeper. We could see that a shoe has been removed but let's see whose ball. It's contact goalkeeper. So the goal shooter and she scores. I could say both teams have been very accurate tonight, 100% on both ends. This is how dedicated those young players are. Grenada center pass. Grenada gives it to the win attack. Win attack is trying to get her player to goal attack. Goal attack finds a goal shooter. Goal shooter is a little far from her range. Gives it back to her goal attack. She turns, she finds a goal shooter. And will she score? She's a little out of her range and she scores. Very good. 100% shooting tonight for the goal shooter. Is now Barbados center pass because we have an even number this time. Breaking goal events, just a little tip on the rules. Breaking is when you cross the line before the whistle has gone or to start the play. So offside on either the win attack or the center. We have an outside pass. The players need to be aware of the line. They're playing to the blue line. Contact win defense, Grenada. Barbados ball. Barbados tries to get their goal shooter. But uh, it is intercepted by the goalkeeper. So throw in to Barbados. You could see a little hustle and tussle between the goal shooter and goalkeeper. But the goal shooter seems to be very experienced and keeps her foot in and she scores. The score is now 5 to Barbados and 6 to Grenada. The win attack gets her goal attack. Goal attack tries to find a player and she is held with a three seconds. Another net ball rule. You can only hold a ball for three seconds unless you have to make a quick pass. We could see a tight defense between the win attack and the win defense. We also have another held ball where you hold a ball for too long for more than three seconds. So Grenada gets the ball. Grenada tries to get it to her player. Goalkeeper thumbles the ball. 
Goal shooter is in possession. Goal shooter had possession. That is for Grenada. She takes a long. Okay, so goalkeeper is out of play. The goal shooter takes a long step. And this will be her first miss, and she will feel it. And this is the end of the first quarter. So going back into the chat, did anybody predict that the score would be five to Barbados and six While to Grenada at the end of the first quarter? First Remember quarter. that the quarters Grenada are only six 10 five. minutes. Six five in favor of Grenada. Um, okay, so I'm in St. Lucia for St. Lucia's Carnival and the bus system has sucks. Oh, you British? I've my Uber app for the longest part and it doesn't work. Uber? Oh, oh, that thing working here. Can you help me at least? No, my girl, it's Ali. A L L E Z, Ali. A L L E Z, Alez. Ale. The Ale app? Yes. Oh, are you a driver? Of course I'm an Ali driver. Can you take me to Castries? Yeah? Hey, 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 wait, 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 please don't. Download the app. Oh, I quarter at the end of the first half we will try to engage the crowd and see if we have any predictions on the outcome of the finals once again you are now watching the finals between team Barbados and team Grenada so Barbados center pass center gives it to the goal attack goal attack gives it back to the center to the other goal attack sorry that was the wing attack Ooh, what a great pass to the goal shooter. Goal shooter was in a range but chose to make a pass and they fumbled it. Barbados made an interception, found her goal shooter again. Let's see, out of court to Barbados. Throw in to Barbados. Barbados finds the win attack, win attack finds the goal attack, goal attack finds the center. Center finds the goal attack, there's a fumble. Grenada gets the ball, Grenada gives it to a center. Center to goal defense, goal defense to goal attack. Goal attack tries to find her center, and they're going to get it to the shooter. No, they're scared to give it to the shooter. So there's a great interception by Barbados defense. And then this was a very close one, offside on the goal defense for Barbados. So Grenada takes the ball, gets it to her goal defense, goal defense to win attack, win attack to goal attack, goal attack to center, and center hesitated but got her goal attack, and goal attack gives it to her goal shooter. Once again, she's had a great advantage with her height, and goal shooter scores. The score is now seven to Grenada. Five to Barbados. It's now Grenada center pass, but there's an infringement called on the win attack, which is breaking. So goal defense for Barbados takes the ball, tries to get a player, center is playing herself, and she gives it to a goal shooter. But there's out of court of Grenada. Barbados ball. I could tell you, I could see some similarities in the goal shooter for Barbados. The great Shonika. Shonika, we could see some of your style going on there. You could see that we have another potential senior shooter for Barbados, Shonika Wharton. So Grenada fumbles the ball, tries to get a shooter, gets it to the goal shooter. There's a contact on the goalkeeper. The goal shooter takes the ball. 
takes the shot and she scores. Once again, she's very accurate. She only missed one goal in the first quarter and so far she has been 100% in the second quarter. Cole attack gets the ball and gives it to her center, but there's a contact on Barbados. Barb Grenada center takes the ball, tries to find her win attack. The crowd is yelling that she should give it to the shooter, but the Grenada players prefer to be safe and make the better and safer pass. We'll see that the goal defense is very aggressive and goes for all rebounds. It's a very good trait when you are a goal defender. And Barbados makes that easy pass from the goal shooter to the goal attack, who misses, but there's an obstruction, so she gets a second attempt at the goal, and she scores. <laughs> Barbados center pass. So center to win attack, win attack back to center. Center tries to get the circle. Straight to the goal shooter. Goal shooter is out of her range, finds the goal attack, contact on the goal Keeper, oh, no. and she misses, throw into goalkeeper. Goalkeeper tries to find a player, but she gets the win defense, win defense to goal attack. Throw in to Grenada. Grenada, goal attack gets the ball to a center. You have to be very aggressive when attacking the ball. You have to grab it to ensure that it is yours. Because right now in netball, there is fair contest. So the goal attack takes the first shot for the second quarter and she scores. It's now Grenada's center pass. Grenada center finds a goal attack. Goal attack to goal defense. Goal defense to goal attack. Goal attack finds a goal shooter. Very risky pass, but it happens to be an excellent pass. Contact goalkeeper and the goal scores by the goal shooter for Grenada. The score is now 10 to Grenada and 7 to Barbados. Barbados center pass. Barbados tries to find her player. She has to go back and they fumble the ball. And it's an outside pass throw into Grenada. Grenada finds her goal attack, but it's also contact on the goal defense. Win attack takes the ball. Win attack forces it. I'm not sure if she was trying to get it to the goal attack or the goal shooter. So we need to go back to the safer passes on both teams. Center finds her goal. Her win defense. Win defense to the win attack. And win attack makes her... Long pass to the goal shooter, who is showing a little sign of frustration, who prefers to work it and get the ball closer to the circle to make the safer pass. There's a loose ball, and Barbados is first to the ball. Center to goal attack, goal attack to center. Center tries to get a shooter. She gets it to the goal shooter, and she's trying a long range shot, and she scores. We could see that Barbados goal shooter is now building up her confidence, and she's taking a shot, and she's back on the board. Grenada now has the ball. Win attack. Forces it to the goal shooter. We can see that they're now hesitating to give it to the goal shooter and they're fumbling the ball. We see goalkeeper throw it to goal defense. Goal defense to center. Center to win attack. Win attack to win defense. Win defense tries to get her shooter. But we could see there's a hustle. There's an obstruction. Ball goes straight to the goal shooter, who is obstructed by the goalkeeper. She attempts a shot and she scores. Once again, the goal shooter is very accurate. Bobby the center. The score is now 10 to Grenada, 9 to Barbados. You could see that Barbados just closed the gap. Grenada has the ball and there's a beautiful interception by the wind defense, who also got a contact. I must commend both teams. I don't think there was any call for stepping on any of the players. We could see that the both teams have really come far and have improved on their footwork. Right now, there they just have some bad passes that they're making. It's now throwing to Grenada. Grenada finds her goal attack. Goal attack finds her goal shooter, oh, no. who fixes herself to take that shot and. There's an obstruction. The obstruction on this side would be the goalkeeper is jumping in, which makes her lessen her distance. 
So goal was scored by the goal shooter. There is only two and a half minutes left. Once again, we want to engage the chat. What do you think will be the halftime score? Right now we have Grenada 11 and Barbados 9. You can see a roll by the goal attack. Goal attack gets the ball. Goal attack to win attack, and she fumbles the ball, and it goes to Barbados. Barbados makes a good recovery. There's an observation for Team Barbados. Any loose balls, Barbados will be the first to it. You can show that their fitness really gives them an advantage. So Barbados, goal shooter gets the ball, and she scores. It is now Barbados' center pass. Grenada is leading by one. So Barbados goal attack gets the ball, she gets the win attack. Win attack tries to get a goal shooter. The goal shooter seems to be positioning herself very well. She passes the ball to her goal attack, but there's a contact on the back and she scores. Now we have a tie, 11 all, but it's now Grenada's ball. Center to win attack, win attack finds the center. There's a contact, put it down. He finds the goal attack. Goal attack tries to get a shooter. And it's an off. It's off the goalkeeper. This was a very tricky play, and she tries to get her shooter. The goal shooter gets the ball. She's out of her range, so she tries to get it back. But we could see that she did not have a footing, so she did not attempt to go for the ball. But Barbados goal defenders are very alert, making an easy interception there. Here we have a contact on the whole defense for Grenada. She's out of play. She needs to stand at the side. This puts her team at a disadvantage. So just a few seconds in the second quarter. You see Barbados goal shooter coming out. But a very aggressive center deflects the ball through into Barbados. A few more seconds to go. Let's see if Barbados can secure a goal. There's an obstruction on Grenada center. And Barbados, goal shooter gets in front, finds a goal attack. She attempts a shot and she scores. It is now Barbados center pass. A few more seconds. And she finds a goal attack, goal attack to win attack, win attack back to goal attack. And she gets a shooter, but there's an easy interception by Grenada's goalkeeper. And there's a lot of fumbling between the Grenadian players. But now we have the ball. The goalkeeper is offside. Ball throwing to Barbados. The wind defense takes the ball. There's a contact by the center. Center tries to get her goal shooter. But this is the end of the first quarter. Barbados 12. Quarter. Grenada Barbados has two. usurped um, Grenada to take the lead at 12-11. Just a reminder of our sponsors, without whom this tournament would not have been possible. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience payout methods and schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history.
Hi. How are you? Hi. Um, okay, so I'm in St. Lucia for St. Some feedback from the other team, some neutral players. Hold on. Who do you think will win tonight? Barbados. <laughs> okay, so the crowd favorite seems to be Barbados. We are now into the third quarter. Once again, the quarter is only 10 minutes. You can see that the yellow is very close, could be a little confusing. We say possession by the goal defender. Winata gets the ball and she forces it to the goal shooter. Goal shooter attempts a goal and she scores. You see that Barbados is making a great comeback. I want to see that. They have been sealing and converting their center passes. Center gets the ball and she tries to get a goal shooter. Goal shooter catches it comfortably and she attempts the shot. There's a contact by the goalkeeper. And she is also an obstruction by the goalkeeper. Goal shooter attempts and she scores. There's a center to center pass Grenada. Grenada finds her win defense player. Center to, green, to goal defense. Goal defense to goal attack. But we have an interception by the goal defense. We get the goal attack, we get the ball to a goal shooter, goal shooter to win attack. Trade it with a goal shooter, but she fumbles. The center tries to get it, win attack gets it. Win attack to goal attack. Goal attack forces it to a goal shooter, who comfortably catches it. Gives it to a center, she goes back into her spot, stands, and they get it to the win attack. Win attack feeds it to her goal shooter, who scores. center. Barbados gets the ball to ball attack, but there's a fumble, so interception for Team Grenada. Grenada gives it to the wind defense, wind defense to win attack. There's a stepping. Earlier, I commended both teams for not having been called for stepping. I think this is the first stepping for the game. Center to goal attack, but it's intercepted by the goal defense, who is covered by the goal attack, goal attack to win defense, win defense back to goal attack. We could see that there are some key playmakers, goal defense gets it across the court. We have an obstruction on win attack, win attack to center, center to goal attack, goal attack tries to find her goal shooter. Oh, and what an excellent take, but we have a contact on the goalkeeper for Barbados and the goal shooter attempts, rebounded by the goal attack and goal attack attempts and scores. I think this is her second goal for the game, but she's two out of two, which is 100% shooting. Very good goal attack. Grenada center pass. Shot, shot, shot. Defense to win attack. Win attack to goal attack. And once the goal attack gets it, she gives it to a goal shooter. I think she's now making those passes with her eyes closed. And we have a converted goal by the goal shooter for Grenada. The score is now 14 all. Barbados center pass. Goal attack tries to get her goal shooter comfortably. She makes a swift pass to the goal attack and goal attack scores. Grenada center pass. Grenada gets the ball to a win attack. Win attack to win defense. Okay, there's an interception by the goalkeeper. There's an interception by Grenada's goal defense. There is a tip by the goal defense, so out of court. Oh, we can see a hustle and hustle, but the goalkeeper gets the ball. We can see a contact on the goalkeeper. So 
So we have a conversion by the goal shooter for Barbados. The score is now 16 to Barbados, 14 to Grenada. It is now five minutes and a few seconds. We have a fumble by the win attack for Barbados. Obstruction on the win attack. So we get the ball to Grenada. Grenada brings down the ball. It's a fumble on both teams. A contact on the win defense for Grenada. Barbados throwing. Okay. Center. There's a contact on the goalkeeper. Inside. We're not sure what went on there, but there's a contact on the goalkeeper and Barbados shooter scores. The score is now 17. Barbados spot into Grenada. There's a quick substitution there for the win defense player by Grenada. Grenada center pass. Grenada finds a goal defense. Goal defense to goal attack. Sorry, to goal attack. Yes, there was a change for the win attack player. You can see that win defense contact Barbados. She uses her body. She pushes the ball and she's been cautioned by the umpire. The umpire's call is final. Yes, so Barbados gets the ball, goal attack, goal attack gives it to the windy, win attack, win attack to the goal shooter, and goal shooter takes the shot and she scores. Okay, we have an excellent take from the goal attack who scores. You can see that the gap right now is six. So we have a contact by the wind defense who finds a goal shooter, but the goal shooter is contacting. You can see a fumble by Grenada. The win defense gets the ball, gets it to her goal defense. Goal defense to goal attack. Goal attack to win attack. Contact on the win defense player. Goal defense takes it to the win attack. Tries to get it to the goal attack. Goal attack takes a step and she attempts a shot and she misses. Okay. You can see that now is not the time to be missing. We still need both teams to be 100% accurate. Oh, and then we could see out of court. She tried to slide back in. Another change in the rules is that when the ball goes outside, you no longer blow, you just alert them that it's outside and which team takes the ball. We had a great deflection by the wind defense player who was supported by her goalkeeper. So Grenada is now in possession of the ball. Center gets it to the win defense, win defense to goal attack, goal attack to center. Goal attack gets the ball and she tries to get her shooter. And now we're seeing Grenada's play where they're settled and getting the ball to the goal shooter comfortably. Grenada is 15, Barbados 20. Grenada center pass. Incorrect third. So it's Barbados ball. Barbados finds a goal shooter. You could see that the goal shooter is very experienced where she brings the play on top of the D and what we call it back then was room for rent where she drives in closer to the pole. So goal attack gets the ball. Goal attack tries to make a bounce pass to a win defense. Win defense to center. Center tries to get it. 
Okay, so goal defense gets the ball, backs to the center. They're saying circle, the crowd is saying circle. And she gets it to the circle, contact goalkeeper. Goal shooter stands comfortably. And she misses. Oh, that is the first for the goal shooter. You can see that those young players are under a lot, a lot of pressure. Barbados is now in possession. Center has the ball. Center tries to get a goal shooter, but changes the pass. She gets it to Winnetag, who has demonstrated excellent balancing skill. Almost went offside. We also have a miss by the goal shooter. I think for both goal shooters, this is the first miss they've had in this quarter. With just less than a minute to go, we get the goalkeeper forcing the ball to our goal defender. Who goes outside of the ball and this is the end of the third quarter. The score is now 20 to Barbados and 15 to Grenada. Barbados have extended the lead showing how and why they are undefeated in this competition but Grenada has reminded us that they are not giving up. They will continue to fight for this title. Welcome to Chateau Joye, a slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. Seek tranquility in this newly built two-bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Lays indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise. Sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. Immerse yourself in the joy of island living with this idyllic escape. Ideal for short and long-term stays, Chateau Joye is located on the scenic coast of St. Lucia. With a small drive to the capital Castries and conveniently placed to explore St. Lucia's world-famous guitars and souffre, Chateau Joye, for peace and tranquility. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenient payout methods and schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings. And we are about to witness the final quarter, the final minutes of the Inter-Caribbean Jean Pierre Caribbean Youth Netball Tournament held in St. Lucia. Okay, Barbados has possession of the ball. It's an out of, oh, we thought it was out of court, but goalkeeper got the ball to win defense, win defense to goalkeeper with an interception by the goal, by the center player, throwing to Grenada. It's an interception by Barbados goal defense, center to Barbados. Yes, I'm back. Goal shooter gets the ball, contact on the goalkeeper. The goal attacks, takes the ball, and she scores. We could see that nice action and the spin of the ball from the Bayesian shooters. Grenada center pass. Grenada tries to get the ball to her goal attack. A very short pass, but an interception by Team Barbados. Offside by goal defense. Green defense takes the ball for Grenada. Center to win attack to goal attack, goal attack to center, contact on San center Barbados. Win attack, goal attack, and they try to get the shooter, and she gets the ball as a contact on the goalkeeper. So goal shooter takes the ball, and she misses, but there's a good rebound by Grenada. Ball attack. There's an out of court. 
You see that Barbados is a little more composed, but Grenada continues to apply the pressure. There's an interception by the wind defense for Grenada. In defense of Grenada. Here for Barbados, you could see a brilliant turn by the win attack who gets it to a goal shooter. Goal shooter to center, center to goal attack. Goal attack attempts the ball and she misses, but she gets it to her goal shooter. And you could say this was an excellent pass to her goal shooter who converted the goal. The score is now 22 15 to Barbados. You could see there's a quick change for Grenada's win attack. Barbados center pass gets her win attack. Barbados retrieves the ball. Oh, it's a little low, so it will be a contact on the goal shooter because the ball was a little low. So Barbados is in possession. And she tries to get her player, gets the goal defense, goal defense to goal attack, goal attack to the center. Center tries to get her goal shooter. But there is a contact on the goalkeeper. Goal attack takes the ball. She passes to her goal shooter, who gets a contact on the back. And the goal shooter will attempt the shot. And she, oh, she misses. Ball throwing to Barbados, so she gets another attempt. The goal attack will take the ball for the range, and she has a good shooting action, but she missed. Great interception, well, rebound by the goalkeeper for Grenada. Grenada brings the ball down. You can see Grenada is taking their time. Well, they get the ball down to the goal attack. Goal attack to win attack. Contact on the win defense. She puts it down. The other third center would take it. Oh. Because There's a throw-in to Grenada. Throw-in to Grenada. Grenada gets a goal shooter. Contact on the goalkeeper. Did she touch it? No, she was trying to go for it and she trip herself. Yeah. And there's a goal scored by the goal shooter. So a little earlier, we thought that the win attack for Grenada had the last touch on the ball, but she didn't. She was trying to retrieve the ball, and she fumbled. We have a good grab for Grenada's center, and she tries to get her goal shooter, where there is a contact on the goalkeeper. She assumes a position, and she scores. You can see the gap is closing, but will it be enough to make Grenada victorious this evening? For those just joining us, you are now viewing the final match between Grenada and Barbados in the Inter-Caribbean Jean Pierre Caribbean Youth Netball Tournament held in St. Lucia. We have a goal scored by the goal shooter for Barbados. The score is now 23 to Barbados, 17 to Grenada. We have contact by the goal defense. You can see a held ball by Grenada. Win defense, she couldn't find any player. You can see that the, the Bajans are more alert. Goal defense has the ball. Win defense has the ball. Goal center. Center to win attack. Win attack tries to get a goal shooter. Once again, goal shooter has an excellent stance. There's a fumble by the center. Center to goal attack. Goal attack gets it to a goal shooter. And she scores. With only four minutes to go, the score is now 24 to Barbados, 17 to Grenada. Barbados center pass. Green attack has the ball, she finds a goal attack, goal attack finds a center. But we have a throw in. Barbados ball. Barbados finds a win attack, win attack to center. Easy pass to the goal shooter, and the goal shooter scores. You can see by the bench for Barbados how excited they are after being very, very patient to get that lead. Look, we have an interception by the center for Barbados.
Okay, we have a call. I think she stepped in. She's she stepped in the ball, so the Barbados. Okay, goal shooter gets the ball contact on the goalkeeper. Well, attack takes the ball and she misses. But there's a great rebound by the goal shooter. Obstruction goal sh keeper. And she scores. There's a timeout. Okay, so there's an umpire's timeout. I think they're calling the captains of both teams to caution players. I need to remind the young players, as much as we are passionate and very excited and engaged in the game, we need to respect the umpire's decision, and uh, the umpire's decision is final. But now we have a, a substitution made by Grenada with the win defense, goal defense. Win defense and goal defense player. Barbada center pass. Here we have center in position who gets the goal shooter who made a big jump, but it was not enough to secure that pass. But they have the ball throw in to Barbados. Okay, out of court, the ball goes to Grenada. We could see that both teams are very, very physical in getting the ball. Both teams wants to win. We could see very good sportsmanship happening, bumping into each other, but not intentionally. Grenada has the ball, win defense to goal defense, goal defense to goal attack, goal attack back to goal defense. Goal defense to win attack, and we have a contact on the win defense. We have a fumble. Win attack gets the ball. She's looking for a goal shooter. She takes a step. There's an obstruction on the goalkeeper. So, goal shooter takes the ball and she scores. Grenada center pass. We have a deflection by the goal defense for the win defense for Barbados throw into Grenada. Win defense for Grenada takes the ball, gets her goal defense. Goal defense finds the win attack. Win attack finds her goal shooter who makes an excellent jump, an excellent catch, and an excellent shot. You could see some excellent plays from both teams. Center pass to Barbados. So some of the crowd favorites would be on Team Barbados, the goal shooter, the goal defense player, and the win defense player for Barbados. On the Grenadian team, you could see the crowd favorite would be the goal shooter. The win attack, the new win attack, who seems to be feeding the goal shooter, and the goal defense for Grenada. It is now Grenada's center pass. Goal attack has the ball. Win attack. Win attack seems to be in a good position to always get the contact. So he's saying to look in the circle, but there's a. Once again, when the ball goes outside, we do not blow the whistle. We just have to signal throw in. So Grenada has a deflection out of court. Throw in to Barbados. The goal shooter seems to be begging for the ball and is making some great jumps. She misses. Throw into Grenada. We could just see less than a minute to go. I'm already walking away from the crowd because we could already see the Bajans getting ready to go wild. The score is now 27 to Barbados, 19 to Grenada. You could see both teams have played excellently. And it would have and the jubilation down begins to the by team, team Barbados. The, Commiserations you to Team Herald Grenada to on a well fought out Once again, match. this was the last game, the final game. Commiser Congratulations, Herald. Team Barbados.
A slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. Seek tranquility in this newly built two bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Lays indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise. Sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. Immerse yourself in the joy of island living with this idyllic escape. Ideal for short and long-term stays, Chateau Joyer is located on the scenic coast of St. Lucia. With a smooth drive to the capital Castries and conveniently placed to explore St. Lucia's world-famous guitars and souffre, Chateau Joyer, for peace and tranquility. extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience payout methods and the schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history.
kalau misalnya kalian Hi, how are you? Hi. Um, okay, so I'm in Saint Lucia for Saint Lucia's Carnival, and the bus system has sucks. Oh, you British? My Uber app for the longest while and doesn't work. Uber? Oh, oh, that my God. Can here. you help me at least? No, my girl, it's Ali. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you. Third quarter. What did the coach say to you at halftime? Just play my game. Don't change it. Uh, just. Just play my game, and I did what I did. That's all. And you did it the kiki way. Yes. <laughs> and you, the Bajans did it the Bajans way. You've given us a lot of, a lot of food for thought. I, I think a lot of the players looking on here have um, commented about the level of skill, the level of preparation from Barbados. Could you give us an insight? Let us into the secret. What's going on in Barbados that some of us can learn from? Uh, I don't even know, but my coach, Lydia, she trained me a lot. I got to give my props to Cameron Greenwich. Yeah. And my mother. My mother. Oh, my mother. <laughs> every game. Every game. She's sick. She's dead. Thank you, Kiki. Round of applause for Kiki, the life of the time. <laughs> we have from Team Grenada, Rishana Francis. Roshana, we could see that Grenada came out today to win and you gave it everything you had. Commiserations that you came a bit short, you came up a bit short today, but I could see you fighting towards the end. What do you want to tell to your fans that have been very loyal and very vocal supporting you? I want to say thank you to everybody who supported Team Grenada, like Dominica, and my coaches, Mr. Williams. I want to thank you for supporting us. We noticed that you were going toe to toe, like I said to Kiki. The quarters were very, the first two quarters were very keenly contested. But somehow in the third quarter, Barbados seemed to find that extra gear. You've played them before. Is that something you discussed? How do you compete with Barbados in that third quarter? In the third quarter, we play after the time out our coaches talked to us and we was coming but somehow they just they fell, fell sure hmm? somehow they fell sure now we have Roshana with us here today and Tim Grenada they've um they've only been defeated by Barbados on two occasions and um, I want to say a special thank you to her for coming up and speaking to us today. Round of applause for Rashana and Team Grenada. At this moment, I'd like to acknowledge the other teams who participated in the competition. We have Team Dominica with us. Team St. Lucia. And Team St. Benson and the Grenadines. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We, we're getting ready for the closing ceremony. Just a reminder, at tonight's presentation of awards, we'll be giving outstanding players from each team, the winners, of course. And, and yesterday, we had our shooting competition, which was won by, who won the shooting competition yesterday? Barbados said they can't remember who won the shooting competition. Do remind them, Team DA. The shooting competition, the team, overall best team in the shooting competition was Dominica in first place with 99 goals, Barbados with 94 goals, and Team St. Lucia with 90 goals. For the individual accolades, we had Rochelle Marshall from Dominica, first place. Naira Ferdinand from St. Lucia, second place. Keisha Mafre from Grenada, third place. The most accurate shooter was Keisha Mafre from Grenada, followed by Nigel Ferdinand from St. Lucia, and Rochelle Marshall from Dominica. 
Later tonight, they'll be receiving the awards along with the other team awards. Want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience, payout methods, and the schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history. Okay, so I'm in St. Lucia for St. Lucia's Carnival and the bus system has sucks. Oh, you British? I've my Uber app for the longest while and it doesn't work. Uber? Oh, oh that my God, can here. you help me at least? No, my girl, it's Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Alez. Ale. The Ale app? Yes. Oh, are you a driver? Of course I'm an Ali driver. Can you take me to Castries? Yeah? Hey, 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 wait, 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 please. No. Download the app. Oh, I have to download the app first. Please stop. Okay, give me one minute, sir. Right. One minute. One minute later. Okay. So what's next? Request the driver. Oh, I have to request the driver. Yeah, if you request it now, I'll get it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me accept that. Let me accept that thing before I take that on me, they call Did you get it? Accepted. You can get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this AC is so good. Ooh, this sun is hot. Johnson, right? Yes, ma'am, it's Johnson. Johnson, the driver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. No worry, ma'am. You're safe with me, yeah? I'll take you to Castries. Chateau Joye, a slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. 
Seek tranquility in this newly built two-bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Lays indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise. Sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. Immerse yourself in the joy of island living with this idyllic escape. Ideal for short and long-term stays, Chateau Joyer is located on the scenic coast of St. Lucia. With a small drive to the capital castries and conveniently placed to explore St. Lucia's world-famous guitars and souffre, Chateau Joyer, for peace and tranquility. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience payout methods and the schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history. Samantha, Samantha Man, winning our Courts Ready Cash 100 EC Dollars voucher. Con congratulations, Samantha. Round of applause for Samantha. If you continue being nice, we might just consider doing it again. Thank you, DJ. Hello. Okay, so I'm in St. Lucia for St. Lucia's Carnival and the bus system has sucks. Oh, you British. I've my Uber app for the longest while and it doesn't work. Uber? Oh, oh that my God, can here. you help me at least? No, my girl, it's Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Alez. Ale. The Ali app? Yes. Oh, are you a driver? Of course I'm an Ali driver. Can you take me to Castries? Yeah? Hey, 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 wait, 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 please don't. Download the app. Oh, I have to download the app first. Please stop. Okay, give me one minute, sir. Right. One minute. One minute later. Okay. So what's next? Request a driver. Oh, I have to request a driver. Yeah, if you request it now, I'll get it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me accept that. Let me accept that before I take that on me. Did you get it? 
accepted. You can get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this AC is so good. Ooh, this sun is hot. Johnson, right? Yes, ma'am, it's Johnson. Johnson, the driver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. No worry, ma'am. You're safe with me, yeah? I'll take you to Castries. Welcome to Chateau Joye, a slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. Seek tranquility in this newly built two-bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Laze indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise. Sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. Immerse yourself in the joy of island living with this idyllic escape. Ideal for short and long-term stays, Chateau Joyer is located on the scenic coast of St. Lucia. With a small drive to the capital Castries and conveniently placed to explore St. Lucia's world-famous guitars and souffre, Chateau Joyer for peace and tranquility. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever-changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenient payout methods and schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history. Please join us for a shooting competition. Come on, I know you want to. Shooting competition. Open to everyone, boys, girls, men, women. There's an advantage to getting here first. Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> you know you want to. We have a representative so far from two from St. Lucia, three from St. Lucia, one from Dominica. Where's Green A one from Grenada? We have no Bajans, no Vences, no. What's going on? 
Come on, you know you want to. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Come one, come all. Come, come, come. Okay, it's sudden death as in sudden death. Whoever scores wins. Sapphire says, whoever scores first wins. <laughs> oh, let's have a drum roll for our next contestant. Drum roll. <laughs> close a hundred EC dollars from courts ready cash is on the line let's see who's gonna emerge victorious close. Super close. Ah, almost there. Let's have it for Miss Hermes. Miss Hermes. <laughs> Let's have it for our Smalley. Good shot, good technique, not in the distance. Nice try. You are goal defender, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You play defense yeah. and you put the shooters to shame. Yeah. Well done, well done, well done. <laughs> Team defense. <laughs> What's we have from Team Dominica, Nisha Remy, the recipient of a hundred dollars gift voucher from Courts Ready Cash. Congratulations and well done. Thank you.
If you don't have a court scene team in Dominica, that means you'll have to come back to St. Lucia. <laughs> Okay, so I'm in St. Lucia for St. Lucia's Carnival and the bus system has sucks. Are you British? I've my Uber app for the longest while and it doesn't work. Uber? Oh, oh that my God, can here. you help me at least? No, my girl, it's Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Ali. A-L-L-E-Z, Alez. Ale. The Ale app? Yes. Oh, are you a driver? Of course I'm an Ali driver. Can you take me to Castries? Yeah? Hey, 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 wait, 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 please don't. Download the app. Oh, I have to download the app first. Please stop. Okay, give me one minute, sir. Right. One minute. One minute later. Okay. So what's next? Request a driver. Oh, I have to request a driver. Yeah, if you request it now, I'll get it. Oh, okay. Hold on. Let me accept that. Let me accept that quick before I take that on me. Did you get it? Accepted. You can get it. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this AC is so good. Ooh, this sun is hot. Johnson, right? Yes, ma'am, it's Johnson. Johnson, the driver. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. No worry, ma'am. You're safe with me, yeah? I'll take you to Castries. Chateau Joye, a slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. Seek tranquility in this newly built two bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Lays indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise. Sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. To the podium, I would like to take this opportunity to again to thank our sponsors for making this tournament possible. Government of St. Lucia, Eastern Caribbean Central Bank, title sponsors Inter-Caribbean Airways, Republic Bank, St. Lucia Tourism Authority, National Lotteries, First National Bank, St. Lucia Olympic Committee, Massey Stores, Alec, Cots Ready Cash, MNC Group of Companies, West Indies Shipping and Trading Company, Bank of St. Lucia, Speed Printing, Trophy Center Plus, Blue Waters, Flow, Four Circles, 9450 Sports, Outlook Inc., Digital World, Time Out, 
RCI, The Wave, The Ice Factory, Real FM, Top Ranking Electricals, Sports and Lucia Inc., The Computer Store, Lucilec, Zoraida Properties, The National Tennis Center, Bay Gardens, and Chateau Joie. Honorable Minister. Thank you very much, Maggie. Good evening, everybody. Permit me to acknowledge the presence of the executive members of the Caribbean Netball Association, executive members of, the, of Netball St. Lucia, and of course, the officials of the various teams. Let me say that I'm extremely pleased to be here tonight. I did not catch much of the action during the tournament, but a little that I saw tonight between Grenada and Barbados, um, I think really encapsulates what the tournament was about. I think it's an opportune time to congratulate Barbados on being crowned champions of the 2024 Jean-Pierre Under-16 Caribbean Netball Championship. And whereas Barbados will be leaving the shores of St. Lucia as champions, every girl who represented her country in the tournament is a winner. I'm hoping that the participating teams that came to St. Lucia, girls, apart from the experiences that you had on court, you had sufficient time to learn something about St. Lucia. And as I would have indicated when we met at Government House on the night when we had the opening ceremony, I'm also hoping that some friendships were created, some long-lasting friendships were forged, and that long after you leave the shores of St. Lucia, you will be in touch with your pairs from the various islands, and that the friendships cultivated will only make for a better and stronger Caribbean. Most of you I know are in Form 5 or Form 4, and particularly those of you who are in Form 5, when you leave St. Lucia, as well as the St. Lucians who are on the national team, business starts for you tomorrow or as soon as you land in your respective countries. We are in the month of April, and we know what happens in April, May, and June. This is CSEC time, and it will be remiss of me to offer remarks at a netball event and not profit the opportunity as the Minister of Education to implore you to take your schoolwork seriously. And good to be talented in whatever sporting discipline you choose, in your case, netball. But equally important is how you conduct yourselves within the confines of the classroom. We want a Caribbean where we have balanced citizens. You are good athletically. You are able to express yourself on the court. But beyond the game of netball, there is so much more that your respective countries will be calling on you to do. And it is against that backdrop you have to take your schoolwork seriously to become educated citizens in your respective countries. I think the tournament was well run. We have to congratulate the sponsors, the officials, the various management teams, and the media practitioners, and everybody else who would have contributed to making the tournament a success. From the government of St. Lucia's standpoint, we were happy to host you in country, and we hope that you will come again someday soon, if not for netball, in your own personal capacities for a vacation. I want to offer an apology on behalf of Minister Kenson Kazeme, who is the Minister for Youth Development and Sports. Unfortunately, he is not on island as we speak, and so tonight I had to be here to cover the minister and to represent him. Congratulations again to Barbados. Congratulations to Grenada for coming second. Congratulations to Dominica for placing food. But as I indicated earlier, every girl who participated in the 2024 Jean Pierre Caribbean Netball Competition is a winner. You are ambassadors for your country. Countries, sorry. You were selected from thousands of other girls who I'm sure were prepared to give anything just to be here um, representing their country with a certain degree of patriotism. But you are the elite, you are the best in your country, and congratulations to you once again. For those of you traveling out of St. Lucia tomorrow, I wish you a very safe journey. And as I said, students, 
Remember, you are in the CSEC zone and you have to prepare well for your examinations. Good night and have a wonderful ceremony, everybody. Thank you, Honorable Sean Edward. We are especially grateful for your presence and the effort you've made to take time out of your busy schedule to be here with us tonight. As I invite Mrs. Rufina Paul, CNA President and President of the St. Lucia National Netball Association, and Ms. Debbie and Fasua, who will be assisting her in the presentation of awards to our standing netballers tonight. Round of applause for Mrs. Rufina Paul and Ms. Debbie and Fasua. Good evening, everybody. Let me just say thank you to everyone for being here, which was really uh, an enjoyable week, I must say. Hard work, but enjoyable at the same time. We want to go through the presentation of awards, and before I do that, I want to thank the minister for giving us the support that we needed to keep going. I want to recognize the president of the America's Netball, Dr. Bridget Adams, who's with us, who came through to help celebrate with us our jubilee, our immediate past president in the person of Kathy Apple Hall, who has been with us long standing. She received an award for her long standing service. And the presidents of Dominica and Grenada. I think these are the two presidents we have with us and obviously my CN executive colleagues. Um, so let's proceed with the awards. We're having a technical heat cup, but we want to project the awards for that we can all see what we're doing but in the interest of time because I know minister has many things to do tonight so we have to proceed but we will catch up with the technology in a while um, we start off with our best team on parade and I would like to call on Mrs. Kafia Paul to deliver that presentation and the team best team on parade is Grenada so we call on <laughs> Grenada for the best team on parade. I would like to ask Dr. Bridget Adams to come down because we will be calling on you at some point in this ceremony to deliver some awards. And also the president of Dominica and Grenada, please come close by, we will be calling you later. Grenada, captain, please. Donated by the Secretary of the Caribbean Netball Association, Ms. Debian Francois. Thank you, Cathy. The best uniform team, we want to call on the President of the Dominica, Mrs. Colita Hamilton, to deliver that award. And it's been presented to Barbados. Yes, they were supposed to be. Mm -hmm. I know that we broke with tradition. Ideally, teams, we should have been on the court. Are we so tired that we cannot come down and line up? Can we all come and line up, please, on the court? They'll be giving you a They'll be giving him his debacle. They'll be giving you, you saying that still? They'll be giving you
Thank you, ladies, for your not so quickness, not so quick, but you all were quick. So we proceed with the ceremony, and we ask President of Dominica, Ms. Kalita Hamilton, Kalita, you presented already. Best uniform team, we did that already, sorry. The most disciplined team, and these awards are compliments of the St. Lucia National Netball Association and our government of St. Lucia. Well, it's one and the same thing, both of us. So we call on Barbados to receive that award. Most disciplined. Team Barbados, you can stay right there. Is Barbados and and this award is donated by Mr. Neil Morel of the Director of Sports in Barbados. Thank you, Madam Hamilton. on to the most improved team. And who do we think was most improved in the tournament? St. Lucia. And this award is presented by Ms. Kafi Apohol. Kafi, can you come and present to St. Lucia, Team St. Lucia? Keeping it moving, St. Lucia. Can I call on the president of, Dom of Grenada, please, Mr. Liebert? We now have the most accurate team, shooting team overall, and with 184 attempts and 150 goals and a shooting accuracy of 81%. Team Grenada. The team with the best goal average and um, the goals for that team is 162, the goals against 101, and the average was 1.60. Team Barbados. And the best defending team in terms of attempts against that team was 137 and the goals scored Goals against, attempts against, sorry, were 137, and goals against were 101, and that's the game team Barbados. Thank you, Mr. Lee, Mr. Alexander, sorry. We now move on to the shooting competition, and I want to call on the first vice president of Caribbean Netball Association, Mrs. Tisha Crackwell, to do the honors. The most accurate shooter, sorry, for the tournament was Kishia Matren of Grenada. 
with a score of 135 goals and an average of 87% Fisher Matron of Grenada. And that's the most accurate shooter of the tournament. In terms of the shooting competition, we move on with the shooter with the highest number of balls. And we have that 40 goals scored with an average of 75% from the country of the Commonwealth of Dominica, Ms. Rochelle Marshall. for the shooting competition. Um, in terms of the third place team in the shooting competition, we have St. Lucia with Niger Ferdinand, <laughs> Zuri Kazeme and Haley Thomas. And the score, they shot 90 out of 133 attempts with an average of 67%. Haley. team in the shooting competition, 94 goals scored overall from 148 attempts and the average of 63%. We had the shooters Kiana Hart, Tyra Totman and Tyra Griffith from Team Barbados. In the shooting competition with 99 goals scored out of 147 attempts and an average of 67%, we have Kenya John, Liam Ford and Raquel Marshall from Dominica, Commonwealth of Dominica. First place in the shooting competition. Secretary. Can I call on the chair of the local organizing committee, Mr. Eustace Vitalis, to show appreciation to our umpires and UAPs? So we'd like to call on Mr. Vitalis. And we want to call our umpires. Um, for the appreciation award. We have Chanel Balkan Denny from Trinidad and Tobago. Patricia. Patricia Busby. Michelle Marcel. We ask that you drink from the cup of wisdom. Um, Makiba, Clark, Moev Games, Cathy Ann Williams, and Mr. Wayne Menti. Mr. Wayne Benty. You gone? We also want to recognize our UAPs in the persons of Mr. Ebra Lynch, Ms. Anne Marie Dixon Louis, and Ms. Joel Young Strong. These were the three evaluators of the empires throughout the tournament.
Joel. Yes, your family, Alice. Yes, yes. Okay. Mr. Benty. Thank you, Mr. Vitalis. Okay. We now really want to really pay attention to our 60 players of the tournament. And we have had a committee looking at the entire tournament to see who are the best players. And we have, and I'd like to call on our president of America's Netball to do the honors in terms of presenting tokens of appreciation to our 16 top players of the tournament. We have Dia Ford Haynes of Barbados. Wing attack and center court player. Chelsea Besso Barbados, the goalkeeper. Yeah, you don't come, come, just, just come. Tyre Trotman of Barbados in the goal attack position. Kiana Hart of Barbados in the goal shooter position. Tyra Griffith of Barbados in the goal attack position. Kenya John of Dominica, of Commonwealth of Dominica in the goal shooter position. Mike Ford of Commonwealth of Dominica. Goal attack and center court player. Nisha Remy of Commonwealth of Dominica. Goal attack and center court. No, sorry, goal defense. Timicia Pielwi of Commonwealth of Dominica. Center and main defense. Keisha Matren of Grenada in the goal shooter position. Sadi Hapa of Grenada in the center position. Antonia George of Grenada in the goal defense position. Colonel Francis of Grenada in the goalkeeper position. Boy and Juan Naka of St. Best and the Grenadines. Can't pronounce that one though. What's how you spell it? Junichika Kwao of St. Best and the Grenadines. She's a goal attack, goal keep, and a goal defense. Come, come. We have Kaylia Willie. of ten best and the Grenadines in the wing defense and goal defense position. Captain from St. Lucia in the wing attack and center court position. Dania Batiste. We have the 16 players here, so can they have a picture with the... Can we all come and line up here? These are our top 16 players of the tournament. Just show yourselves in a straight line. And we don't want the same countries together, just intermingle, yeah. A straight line across, yes.
these are our top players. And we move right into looking at the President's Award. The President's Award is given to a player who shows excellence in academia, extracurricular, and sporting activities. Um, you cannot read what's there, but the awardee is a four-form player, four-form student, sorry, at a secondary school. She currently studies eight subjects, and as she prepares to sit the CXC exams with her favorite subject being social science. Her vision is to, be, to continue sports as a career in the future. Um, she represents the school in all sporting events. She received the MVP for both the basketball and netball at the Winnet Island School Games last year and was nominated MVP of a team at the Under-16 tournament in 2023 and also named as one of the top 16 players then. She plays third representing the country in tennis at the Games in Martinique and she also awarded the Rookie of the Year for her football club National League um, um, event. She's a member of a, a club in, in a school, and the mission of that club is to help the less fortunate and make the environment a cleaner and safer space. She's also a member of the basketball club, assisting with coaching youth at the grassroots level from ages four to six. And she's one who has, who would eagerly assist whoever called upon, called upon her to accomplish any mission given to them by her. And that person is, from the Commonwealth of the Maker, Ramai Ford. Can I call on Dr. Adams, please, to present on? Oh, no, sorry. That's my award. And she's 16 years old, and she's in the goal attack position. The tradition is that we also have to observe I mean, how we are growing and our youngest player is always somebody we actually highlight during the tournament and this year our youngest player is 11 years old. Um, she was born in August of 2012 and she's from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, um, Miss Kendra Stay. Samantha Man here, she'll present the award on behalf of the, the Book Foundation. Can we read? Flip back, please. The Book Foundation is, has always been given that award, and we really want to thank them for it. Okay. Thank you. Want to observing, I'm oh sorry, to recognize the most valuable players in our respective um, five countries, and we start off with the most valuable player from Barbados um, in the goal shooter position, Kiana Hart. I forgot to call somebody to give the award. Deborah, can we call on Miss Deborah Lynch, please, to give the award? My apologies, people. We're trying to multitask. <laughs> Sorry, my dear. Most valuable player for Barbados. The most valuable player for the Commonwealth of Dominica, Lemire Ford.
in the gold attack position. For Team Grenada, the most valuable player is Kia Kishia Matran, gold shooter. For St. Lucia, the most valuable player, Dala Depre, in the goal defense position. And for St. Vincent, the Grenadines, the most valuable player was a goal keeper, a goal defense, and a goal attack, Joanna Kwa. And just, and we want to also recognize the most valuable player of the tournament overall from St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Ms. Jamaica. You as well. But the most valuable player of the entire tournament. Yeah. And we obviously given her netball so she can continue to grow in the sport. Thank you. Okay. So we now move on to. why we are here in terms of the tournament and the placings of our five countries. We will just name that the fifth place country is St. Vincent and the Grenadines. And placing fourth in the first round, they won the last playoff games, but they defaulted playing off the, in the fourth and for the fourth and fifth places. They had 190 one attempts, scored 111, and the goals against them were 144. Goal difference, 33. Goal average, 77, and the accuracy was 58%. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. In fourth position, St. Lucia. Sorry, St. Lucia. Placing fourth and won the last playoff games by default and they had 191 attempts, scored 111 goals against 140. So we want to now come to the first three places in terms of the second runner up in the tournament. And we call on the Commonwealth of Dominica. Congratulations on placing third in the tournament overall. And Dominica, they had 189 attempts, scored 138 goals. Goal difference of four and a goal average of 1.03 and an accuracy of 73%. Congratulations, Team Dominica. And can I now call on the first vice president to give that award. Team Dominica, please. Thank you, Dominica. Congratulations. We now, Bridget. Can I call on the president of the America's Netball? And our second place team, as we saw from the match we just had, is um, Grenada. Grenada had 184 attempts. They scored 150 goals, a good difference of 11, a goal average of 1.08, and accuracy of 81.52%. Congratulations, Tim Grenada. And the award has been given by the president of America's Netball. And of course, we leave the best for last, and I call on my Minister of Education, Sir, Honorable Sean Edwards. We now have our Minister of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Technical Vocational Training and other things. 
and I really want to say thanks for being here with us. We really appreciate the support in spirit that you've given to us to hold on, not for long. And so I call now on the champion team of the tournament, the 20th Jean Pierre Caribbean Youth Tournament, being sponsored, I mean, the title sponsor being Inter Caribbean Airways, team, team Barbados as the champion team. And the champion team had 213 attempts, 162 goals, a goal difference of 61, a goal average of 1.60, and an accuracy of Congratulations. <laughs> For the artist. <laughs> yes, thanks. UVMG. So we've come to the end of our presentation and that's the end of it. Thank you everybody for the support. It was good. So everyone returning home have a safe journey. And yeah. Miss me here, forget all about the belt we sign. From the time I start to dress, I'm out the hall, it's me a sign. Play the beat drop, play the party, I do hear the bass line. No TV for bass time, look, just start the belt we sign. Miss me here, forget all about the belt we sign. From the time I start to dress, I'm out the hall, it's me a sign. Play the beat drop, play the party, I do hear the bass line. No TV for bass time, look, just start the belt we sign. I can walk up slow, I can walk up fast, and if you feel you got a lot of hours, I said, let me hear you bump up. Okay, we just have one housekeeping matter to attend to in terms of the administration of Caribbean netball. And most of you would have known we had elections during our 50th annual general meeting and we want to introduce the incoming, the new executive for the term 2024 to 26. And I want to call on our second vice president, Nisha Crackwell. Our first vice president had to return to her place of work in the person of Lorraine Bannis Roberts of Dominica, Nisha Cragwell is of Barbados, Miss Kezia Nicholas, is she here? Is the treasurer of Caribbean Netball. Our secretary is Miss Debbie Ann Ponsoir of Trinidad and Tobago. And the president is? Ms. Rufina Paul of St. Lucia. <laughs> so we just want to introduce and to install ourselves as, as the incoming for the next two. So thanks for having patience with us and for the support. Thank you, everybody. Chateau Joye, a slice of paradise, home away from home, a southeasterly coast gem. Seek tranquility in this newly built two bedroom ocean view holiday home in the Caribbean. Lays indoors or soak in serene, secure surroundings. Explore natural sights and sounds of island paradise, sleep with the ocean breeze and wake up to its waves. Come heal your senses, realign, be inspired and refreshed. Immerse yourself in the joy of island living with this idyllic escape. Ideal for short and long term stays, Chateau Joyer is located on the scenic coast of St. Lucia.
We have a small drive to the capital castries and conveniently place to explore St. Lucia's world famous Pitons and Souffre. Chateau Joye for peace and tranquility. Earn extra income. Flexibility. Drive when you want to and how often you want to. Robust and ever changing safety features to protect drivers. Convenience payout methods and the schedules. Rewards for exceptional ratings and driving history. <laughs>